Hey y'all, this is Donna from Donna Gills Designs and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another pen design for you guys. This one is camo and as you guys know, my favorite color is pink. So we're going to do the pink camo today. So as always, everything I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below for you guys, along with the links to my social media and the link to my website if you want to check those out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so you know me well enough by now that if I have white in my design, I'm going to use a white sublimation pen just so I can skip the step of painting my pen. So what I like to do is unscrew that tip, take the barrel off, put the pen back together, put it back in its packaging and just setting it aside for later. So what I like to do is just take my sanding block and lightly sand the barrel, spray it down with some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down with a paper towel. So we're going to start off with our first row, which is the anchor row. Um, the adhesive I'm using today is something a little different. I know you guys are used to me using the liquid fusion button today. I'm using a Leans rhinestone adhesive and this works really well too. I am very happy with it. So I applied my adhesive around my pen and then I'm going to start out, um, with that first row, which is the anchor row, apply the 12 rhinestones around the pen. And then I'm going to flip my pen over and push those rhinestones down. So they're flush with my table and let this dry for about 30 minutes. And by pushing those rhinestones down, you're making sure that your row is straight. So then we're going to go ahead and start with, um, our second row. And pretty much, I think most of these rows, every row is just about different on this design. So just be careful um, with this design because I don't think two rows are exactly the same for this design. So what I'm doing is I'm using the honeycomb method and all that means for my beginners is that I'm placing one rhinestone in between the two previous rhinestones in the previous row. So once I get done placing my rhinestones around each row, I like to use the plastic end of my squeegee to lightly push the rhinestones up just to ensure that my row is straight. But please be careful because if you push those rhinestones up too far, um, you're going to need extra rhinestones at the bottom because you would have pushed them up too far. So just be really careful if you're using that method. You That is optional. That's just what I like to do, but you can also use the, um, metal end of your rhinestone picker, or in this case, if you're using one of these retractable wax pencil um, pens, you know, just use that to push up your rhinestones. Either method works. It just depends on your preference. So here we are down toward the middle of the pen, and you'll also see that marking. Um, for you guys who have been following me for a while, you know I like to use an Expo marker on the sublimation pens, um, and this is just to ensure that I start each row exactly where it's meant to be from my patterns. And you're just using this as a guide because if you look at the honeycomb method, you know, there are some rows, you know, you may have uh, different color to the right and a different color to the left. So we're just using that marking as a guide. Um, then when you get to these last couple rows, this is where you really want to make sure that your rows are um, straight because that, if you don't, when you get toward the end of your pen, like in this section, you know, your rows might, might be exactly straight and you'll be able to notice that. So just be very careful, um, with that. But if you do happen to have something that's a little uneven, just kind of space your rhinestones out a little bit, just so, um, you can kind of fix that kind of look to it. Um, so when I get to the last row, what I like to do is just either use my rhinestone picker or my fingernail or finger or whatever, um, and just go along the edge of the pen. Cause you want to make sure that you don't have any rhinestones overhanging the edge of that pen, because if you happen to hit your pen, you may knock a rhinestone off. So you can prevent that from, you know, just making sure you don't have any rhinestones overhanging that end of the pen. So this pattern is available on my website for you guys, um, which is a digital file for those of you who haven't ordered from me before. And it automatically, the file gets automatically emailed to you once you pay for the patterns. I think this will be my 24th or 25th pattern. So I have a large selection of a pen um, rhinestone patterns for you guys now. And I am already designing more for you guys. So there are more coming. 
So if you don't see a pattern you like and you're looking for something in particular, you know, put it down in the comment section and I will try to come up with something for you. Or you can just shoot me an email, which is DonnaGillsDesigns at gmail.com. So I want to thank you all for your support and to wish you a happy day and hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you in the next one.